Are you feeling a little jerky today? I mean, maybe a lot of jerky? Well, you know the only cure for that, eat more jerky. We're having a Go Texan Jerky Throwdown. Howdy y'all, welcome back to the Texan table where we taste and try out authentic, real deal Texan products that are all partners in the Go Texan program. A Go Texan jerky throwdown with three different sorts of jerky. And let me warn you, some of this jerky might surprise you just a little bit. All right, let's take a look at these authentic Texas makers. First up, we have Brockhouse Jerky. They're out of Seagoville. Then over here, we have Salmon Jerky from The Good Jerky out of Saginaw, Texas. And over here, we have Plant based jerky out of Crossroads, Texas. DFW Metroplex, absolutely representing. And let me just tell you, this ain't your grandpa's jerky. First off, a little history lesson. So the term jerky actually comes from a South American native word, charqui. I, I didn't know that, I had to look that up, confession, all right? But it means dried salted meat. I know what you're thinking. Chet, can you tell the difference? Let me try them real quick. No need for a blindfold on this one. I mean, these are all jerky, but they're all completely different. All right, first off, let's go beef. Traditional, baby. So what I have here in the dish is their smoked pepper jerky, all beef. They use all hickory wood, so you get an authentic smoke flavor, not some of that liquid smoke fake stuff. I mean, that's good beef jerky. Smoked, smoked peach sounds uh, harmless enough, right? <laughs> The point of beef jerky is to take a long time to chew, right? Kind of like chewing your cud. This could be a very long video to film. <laughs> take a bite. No, that's good. So it's got that uh, classic beef jerky smoke flavor, but it's got like a peach glaze on it. Let's, let's go with some uh, Carolina Reaper. Woo! <laughs> probably, uh, probably we shouldn't have done that. Oh gosh, ow, ow. I was, like, <laughs> I was expecting it to creep up on me. No way. Oh gosh, that's good though. <laughs> Can you see fire coming out? Whew. Better than a water break, bluebell break. <sighs> All right, so I think I've resuscitated my taste buds. Let's move down the line, something very different. Salmon jerky. All right, so the Good Jerky Company started with the mission of helping us foster positive relationships with ourselves through the food we eat, others, and nature. And so they started making salmon jerky because seafood is very heart healthy. Look at that. I mean, it looks like a, it does look like a giant fish fillet. All right, so this flavor is sweet and smoky. That is uh, oddly satisfying. I feel like I'm eating a salmon fillet, you know, but like in jerky form. My taste buds, a little thrown because the flavors I'm getting are like your traditional beef jerky, your smoke, your pepper, your salt, but then it's got this like whole fishy side to it, which is kind of a good thing. I kind of like it. This is taking all I love about beef jerky and all I love about smoked salmon, ooh, marrying them together. Spicy barbecue. Let's see if uh, these guys are any comparison to the old Brock house over there. That's my favorite, yeah. That one is my favorite. The one no Texan saw coming, it's jerky, y'all, with their plant-based jerky. All right, so this company started based on the owner's love of cows. He loved cows so much, he thought, I'm gonna save some cows' lives, and good for him. And so he created this. It is whole soybean-based jerky. Um, this flavor is this one right here, prickly pear, Chipotle. Uh-oh, Daniel. I like that. Does this mean I'm vegan? I'll tell you, vegetables may have never tasted better than that right there. <laughs> this one is prickly pear teriyaki. All right. How did they get soybeans to do that? It, it almost tastes like meat. Almost. Now, if you go in thinking it's meat, you'll be like, yeah, that's not quite right. But if you go in thinking, Oh, this is something new. This is something different. I think you're gonna be highly satisfied. All right, last one, black pepper sea salt. That's extremely satisfying. Well, guys, 
I hope I wasn't too much of a jerky for y'all. Today, as you can see, Texans are making some amazing beef jerky, but don't just think jerky's all beef, all right? We got salmon jerky, we got soy jerky, and then not to mention all the different flavors that they're making. Uh, absolutely awesome. So if you wanna learn more, go to gotexan.org. Also, check out shop.gotexan.org where you can order some of these products for yourself. All right, y'all, I will see all y'all out on the road. Y'all go forth and jerky.